Well, I'm pleased, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce that we... Are, well, our staff critic is here. Our staff critic is here, Mr. Bertrand Falstaff Hein. Uh, that's Heine. Right. Yeah. Right, it is. Bertrand, I hear, I hear you'll be reviewing Christmas light displays tonight. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Christopher, it is time once again for our neighborhood's annual Lakeview Drive Festival of Lights, as it is informally known. A shadow of its former self, I'm afraid. Really? Mm. I, I thought that neighborhood had amazing light displays. Oh, Chris, such endearing innocence. <laughs> Perhaps you missed the first home on the block, a bungalow belonging to Jack and Margaret Miller. It's an understandable oversight since the Miller's gleaming golden ramparts of yesteryear have given way to a wan display of cold porch light and perfunctory bulb work. I hear they're in Florida, but that is a sorry excuse. That it doesn't sound great. Oh, directly opposite, where the once proud Cooper residence is all but shuttered, a single thread of light stuttering a monochromatic Morse code, flashing its sad apology to those who can recall its shimmering heyday as a scintillating jewel in the neighborhood crown. And I consider Glenn Cooper a friend, but even I must wonder if Glenn would have been better off focusing on the job at hand and putting off his recent heart transplant a little longer. <laughs> While he languishes in recovery, his property radiates all the Christmas joy of a VCR awaiting the correct time. <laughs> in fact, the entire corner resembles a midnight reconnaissance photo of rural Kentucky circa 1910. That is not my Christmas, Chris. Um, no, I, I, I understand that. Um, they, they can't have all been disappointing though, right? I mean, lots of amazing houses out there, all lit up. Ah, focus on the positive, is it? <laughs> Perhaps you're right. The year is not a total loss. No, Donald Nelson's animatronic nativity scene is a modern miracle of sight and sound. Each inflatable character, including the precious infant himself, is able to engage the audience in a rousing debate over state-sanctioned religious displays. <laughs> and the cutting-edge AI learns from each debate loss, honing its counter-arguments throughout the month. <laughs> Uh, that sounds nice. Oh, and a few doors down, there's Widow Larson, who has woven over 16 miles of lights into a resplendent electric sweater around her small home, an unwavering beacon in the night, guiding the holiday spirit's foundering schooner toward the safe harbor of our cul-de-sac. There you go. Yes. And very well described, Bertrand. Ah, thank you, Chris, for the timely reminder that it is sometimes better to light a candle than curse the darkness. And now I must wander away to refill my glass and continue my search for the perfect Christmas bread. A happy holiday to you, Chris, and to and all. And a happy holiday to you, Mr. Bertrand Falstaff Hein. Heine. Right. <laughs>